college was, was so much fun. Just being at Duke and understanding how much pride and history comes with that. Being on the center stage every night, I feel like every game we played was on TV and the target was always on our back and being in the UNC rivalry, I loved everything about it. Was there that that part of you that said, this is an amazing life, it's, it's utopia, right? It's freedom. For sure. To, I, to stay for one more. I thought about it. I remember I called coach. He was like, did you declare yet? I was like, you don't want, you don't want me to stay? Like, you want me to come back? He was like, no, you gotta go. I was like, all right, you're right. That was probably hard for even him to say, right? Because if you come back, <laughs> <laughs> right? Yeah, no, that's, that's my guy for life. June 22nd, 2017, where were you? I was in New York. I probably woke up at five in the morning because I couldn't sleep. This is something I looked forward to for like 15, 16 years. I can remember the whole day I was, I was so anxious, I was so nervous. I couldn't believe that it was finally here, that the moment I've been dreaming about, what they don't show you is right before they call your name, all the cameras run over to the table because they know it was about to get called. And Adam Silver came out and the cameras ran to me. He starts talking and they leave and they go to another player's table. And I remember my heart dropped. And I looked at my mom, I'm like, I'm like, why did they just do that? They are not gonna pick me. And they ran back over. And I remember I put my head down and they said. With the third pick in the 2017 NBA draft, the Boston Celtics select Jason Tatum from Duke University. It was like the weight of the world was lifted off my shoulders. It was like I was living in a dream and I stood up and I gave my mom the biggest hug I could. And I remember I told her, I said, we did it. We did it. I wanted to take her up there with me. And then you turned to your dad. Mm -hmm. What did he say? He said he was proud of me. 